In this quick tutorial, I just want to talk a bit about the trunk function in Excel and watch until the end so that we can get kind of an idea of using the trunk versus just the basic round function in Excel. So what does the trunk function do? The trunk function just truncates the numbers I'm working with to a given decimal point or up to a given decimal point. So what I mean by this is, for example, you can do equals trunk, open parentheses, your first argument is numbers, so what number do you want to truncate some of the decimals off of? Let's say it's this one right here, comma, number of digits. So let's just say 1 to is the 100th place, so you can type 2, close parentheses. And as you can see, 84.95968 was truncated to 84.95, and you can verify that by subtracting the two numbers. And you can even do that for whatever you want to. So just do it for 1, do it for 0. Never suits your fancy, do it for 100. Um, whatever suits your fancy, one thing to note too, it is up to the number of digits. So if this has, so if the number that you're working with has three digits, then this number is not going to truncate every, any, anything at all. So let's just keep it at two. But one thing to note too is kind of, to keep in mind of using this, is kind of the impact that it has on your, the numbers that you're working with. So for example, you know, as you can see, it makes our number a little bit smaller. But if you're working with a lot of data, this can kind of make some numbers that you're working with collectively a little bit smaller. So to kind of show you what I mean, um, difference between data and trunk. And then we're going to use a round function to kind of give a basic comparison. Between data and round. To kind of show you what I mean by the difference. between using just the, the trunk function to do decimals and then the round to two decimals. So, so as you can see we're round to get it we get the number gets rounded up and it gets rounded up to 84.96 whereas trunk just takes the digits off and it gets taken to 84.5. So we're going to just kind of paste this down to the few numbers that we have. And we're going to paste this down to the few numbers that we have. And as you can see, with the trunk function, it's always going to, the trunk number is always going to be smaller, but with the round function, it is always going to be a little bit more mixed. So that's important, that's important because if you look at the total difference with the, with, with the trunk function, and the total difference with the round function, as you can see, your trunk function causes your numbers, these numbers to collectively be 0.1, 10 smaller, whereas the round function doesn't have as much as much of an impact. Um, well, that's just something to keep in mind, so like your trunk function is always going to make your data a little bit smaller, but whatever suits your needs. So I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.